हेलो हाय माय डियर स्विफ्ट लर्नर्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप दैट एवरीबॉडी इज फाइन एंड हियर आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन फॉर यू ऑल सो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू स्टडी टुडे बट बिफोर दैट एज यूजुअल वी विल बी सीइंग अबाउट विल बी नोइंग अबाउट द प्लेटफार्म एट व्हिच वी आर हियर व्हिच वी एट व्हिच वी आर स्टडीइंग so we are here at swift learn which is india's most sincere learning destination providing the classes for grade 1 to grade 10 so over here at swift learn you will be getting live and interactive classes and in the classes you will be having batches with maximum 6 students so we do not have many students we have 6 students so that every student can get the attention then apart from teachers we have academic mentor team and this team will be responsible for tracking your progress and will be working with you towards your improvement also we cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule and we also handle custom requests that means any particular chapters you want to do any particular topics you want to cover so we deal into that also and now some of the key features of swift learn which makes it all the more special are first of all its detailed progress report now what is a detailed progress report after every 2 and a half or 3 months you will be getting a progress report which will be a kind of detailed analysis of your all the works including class work homework practice test etc Then we have Swift Learn Academic Test Series in which you can compete with the students of your grade, and you can see your position, and you can work accordingly. Also, we have unlimited practice tests, including two categories of subjective and objective. And subjective tests, they will be further helping you in your school exams. So please book a free trial class, and all you need to do for booking a trial class is just download the Swift Learn app. select your grade select your subject select your time and there you go with your free trial class if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any update and if you like this video press on like button please so today we are going to do a very easy but very very important topic which is cleanliness and hygiene part number 1 So in this chapter we are going to basically focus on uh, our personal hygiene how to keep our body clean how to keep our eyes hair clean and some of the healthy habits that we should be following so let's get started quickly now if i talk about these two students these two kids that you can see on the screen what is the difference that you find here the basic difference that we find is the kid number 1 he is a bit dirty and the kid number 2 she is very clean right so one kid is very clean while other one looks very untidy now why do we see that the kid is clean because we can see the clothes are clean we can see her body is clean okay and she feels fresh and she is okay now let's talk about the other person okay who asked that why should i be clean so tia asked why should i be clean because she doesn't like to bath uh, she has a kind of skin allergy because of germs okay now we are going to see why bathing is important why personal hygiene is important but before that we'll be knowing what is personal hygiene so personal hygiene it means we take care of our body we keep it clean and healthy and in the personal hygiene there are various things that are included so it um, the includes are bathing hand washing hair care oral hygiene eye care and washing so these all things are very important to keep our body neat clean and healthy and these all things come under personal hygiene now how we can clean ourselves so there are various steps of personal hygiene okay so our body our whole body is covered with skin 
right so we need to uh, clean our skin okay daily regularly okay and how do we clean our skin by taking bath daily so we should take bath daily and why because you know our body uh, the skin because it covers the whole body so there is various you know there is various uh, dirt and germs that get stuck here uh, it can remove sweat also and after bathing we obviously feel very fresh so bathing it help us to remove any dirt germ which can protect us from uh, infection also okay various uh, skin diseases also then it helps to remove the sweat and after bathing we feel very fresh next after bathing we should clean our body with a wipe uh, with a clean towel all right so wipe your body with a clean clean towel and next is apply any moisturizer or cream or oil anything to prevent our skin from drying out okay now if i talk about the driest part of the body okay so uh, i'm sorry if i talk about the dirtiest part of our body so a dirtiest part of our body becomes our hands why because our hands we are using it to touch almost everything right if i uh, look here i am i'm touching this bottle i am touching maybe this i'm touching my phone so our hands get dirty very easily so it is very important to take care of our hands to wash them regularly since they are the dirtiest part okay and if you do not wash your hands regularly and if you eat something sometimes it can lead to various diseases also so how do we wash our hands and why do we wash our hands to keep our body to keep our hands clean to prevent uh, ourselves from any infection so what do we need is wash your hands with soap hand wash and water then uh, rub properly to form a kind of leather and cover your palm area fully so this particular area it should be covered fully and that is how we should be washing our hands now when should we wash our hands first before eating after eating after using washroom then after coming home uh, especially in this covid times whenever you go out uh, you should be coming home you should be taking uh, care of these particular things like washing hands washing face etc so after coming out uh, coming from outside after playing or after touching anything that looks dirty next is our hair care so our hair also it can carry various dirt and germs so it's very important to clean our hair regularly okay so our hair needs to be cleaned frequently and dirty hair it can uh, cause dandruff itchy scalp and various infections also and sometimes it also attracts lice in the hair so that is why hair care becomes very important now how to keep our hair clean first of all wash your hair with shampoo okay at least twice a week you should do that next is comb your hair with a clean comb your comb should be clean and um, keep your hair neat and tidy trim your hair regularly so our uh, hair trimming should be done on regular intervals okay next do you brush your teeth daily and why why do you brush your teeth to keep our mouth clean to keep our teeth uh, to save our teeth from getting decay right so whenever we eat or drink something the some kind of food it gets stuck into our teeth and if we do not remove it there are germs which start developing in our mouth and these germs sometimes they cause bad breath they cause cavity and other problems also which leads to toothache and uh, much uncomfort so how to take care of our mouth then first of all taking care of mouth and the gums it is known as oral hygiene and how to take care first of all brush your teeth twice a day for at least 2 minutes so uh, many of us you know we avoid brushing our teeth at night time especially but that is very important even important than morning time why because in the whole day we are eating a lot more things and at the night if we avoid brushing our teeth it we have a high chance of cavities and tooth decay so especially at night time you should be brushing your teeth 
Next is clean your tongue. So there are various devices like we have tongue cleaner etc. So clean your tongue because the germs also get stuck onto your tongue and they can uh, cause bad breath. And then rinse your mouth after every meal. So after you have your lunch, dinner, um, breakfast or any meal, rinse your mouth very properly. Okay. Now, taking care of our eyes. So eye care is also very important. We should wash our eyes regularly to keep them clean. And many people rub their eyes. So we should be very careful regarding this. Please do not rub your eyes. Okay. Now let's talk about some of the healthy habits that we should take care of. Cut your nails regularly. So if we do not cut our nails regularly, what will happen? The dirt get uh, you know uh, collected over here and when we eat food, it gets into our mouth which leads to infections. Then keep your ears and nose clean. So we should regularly clean our nose and our ears. Cover your mouth and nose while sneezing and coughing. So, especially during this time, if someone is sneezing, just get away from there. And if you are sneezing or coughing, just use your hands or a handkerchief. Next is wear clean clothes and shoes. So, change your clothes every day. Wear, uh, take care of the cleanliness. Wear clean shoes. Wear clean socks, etc and wash your clothes with detergents regularly so that any kind of sweat any kind of germ they get removed quickly and easily okay let's practice what we have learned dash covers our whole body skin covers our whole body dash removes sweat from our body so bathing removes sweat from our body next after taking bath bath we should wipe with a uh, very dry and clean towel and use dash to prevent dryness so use any oil cream moisturizer to prevent yourself from uh, prevent your skin from drying away okay when should you wash your hair hands so before eating after eating um, after coming from outside okay then um, after you touch anything dirty after play so you should wash your hands regularly why do you need to wash your hair to keep our hair, uh, hair clean to prevent from lice to prevent from itchy scalp and dandruff how can you protect your teeth from bed breath by uh, brushing them regularly okay and by uh, rinsing our mouth okay by washing our mouth uh, by um, rinsing our mouth after every meal next how to take care of eyes wash our, your eyes regularly but do not rub them okay so wash with very gentle hands what is oral hygiene taking care of our mouth okay teeth gums tongue uh, it comes under the category of oral hygiene and what is personal hygiene taking care of our whole body cleanliness how to clean it okay and remaining very clean and fresh it is known as personal hygiene so what are the things that we have learned? We learned about how to care uh, for our body uh, by taking ba uh, bath regularly, by washing hands, by taking care of our oral hygiene, eye care and some of the other healthy habits. So I hope that you might have understood everything. It was very easy, very uh, normal, very common but very very important chapter. I hope that you might have understood everything. We will be meeting in another session in which we will be learning a bit more about personal hygiene. So till then keep learning, keep studying and see the videos which are available on the Swiftland channel. There are many amazing chapters going on here and let us meet in the next class. Thank you everyone. Take care.